Hey there, Pokemon fans, Or from Pokemon Awesome here, and we've got more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke today. Last time, we made our venture over here into the Kanto region, and got a few things taken care of before deciding to take on any of the gyms. Here, we're outside the Celadon game corner. As I stated before, we can pick up more uh, Psychic TMs here from the left corner. Uh, left counter, I, I, I mean. I actually went ahead and did that. But I also picked up one of the uh, Pokemon that you can get here at the game corner. You can see we can get Larvitar and Porygon here. This is the only place we can get Porygon. It, but we can also get Larvitar much later in the game. But, not Pokedex. I decided to get him now. Because he comes at level 40. That's just perfect with our team and makes it that much easier to uh, level up to um, Tyranitar. Now, I went ahead and uh, gave it a few extra moves. It comes with uh, Thrash and Screech. I decided to replace those with um, Headbutt and Dig just to uh, get a little bit more attack variety on there. Because what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking on Lieutenant Surge over at Vermilion City. So let's hop on our bike and head on back. Now there actually are a few gym leaders available to us right now. Uh, I want to take on Surge first because he's going to be probably the easiest. Got a Meowth. I already have one. But yeah, Surge is probably one of the easiest ones to uh, take care of as long as you have a ground type. Because pretty much all of his Pokemon don't have uh, moves other than electric and normal. So I figure this is the perfect place to uh, level up uh, Octopath, our new Larvitar. Now, we don't need Cut. We can just surf across and uh, ignore the uh, tree altogether. It's the reason why they put up a fence around the area for um, the remakes. And we've got a few trainers here. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? First time we're hearing the uh, Gen 1 battle theme. Since our entrance here to Kanto. So, we're gonna go ahead and dig to uh, take care of this Magnemite. Critical hit. I don't think we needed that. Here we've got Voltorb. We can definitely take care of that, no problem. Setting up a light screen. That's not going to help help them since we're not using special attacks. Roll out, we'll miss. And Dig will be another one shot. Another Magnemite. Sonic Boom. Thankfully, we dodged that. It's probably the only move worth using against a rock ground type from any of these Pokemon that we're fighting. And another Magnemite. Lock on will fail. There goes the light screen, and there goes the Magnemite. All right, not a bad first showing. And immediately thrown into a fight against this guy. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. 
think this is a super nerd? No, a juggler. Okay. Ooh, electrode. Let's go with dig. Yep, we're all not gonna do much. This be a one shot? No, not quite. Oh, well, there's a sonic boom. Another electrode. And roll out mist. Still not quite a knockout. Ooh, Screech. I don't think Screech is, uh, too much to worry about. Because these rollouts still aren't going to be doing too much, and Sonic Boom will still only do 20 damage regardless. Yeah, rollout didn't do all that mu much difference from before. Alright, headbutt for the rest. <laughs> Nothing else, these electrodes are really good experience. 1060 for each one. Going to level up. Wow, I was overpowered. Still not the juggler I'm looking for. And because we got Larvitar at level 40, it's going to evolve right here and now because it usually evolves at level 30. Okay, gotta use these ethers one way or another. I'm gonna avoid that last trainer just so we can get straight to um, Lieutenant Surge here. Hey, you little tyke! I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war! Alright, our first of the Kanto Gym Leaders. Sending out a Raichu. With its current moveset, Quick Attack is all it can do against us. It's got three other light electric attacks. Thunder, Thunderbolt, and Thunder Wave. Alright, I wasn't quite expecting a one-shot from Dig since we are a few levels lower. But it's definitely doing the damage. Uh, 
Alright, what's next? Electrode. Now, one thing I want to check is Octopath's defense. 69. Heh, <laughs> giggity. So, the main reason is because Electrode packs explosion. So, I think I'm going to switch over to Symphonia, who can take an explosion a little bit better. Uh, going for double team. I'm gonna go for earthquake. Uh, screech. That could be troublesome. All right, we got the earthquake off. All right, a little bit of experience for Octopath, and level up for Symphonia. I'm sending out Magneton now. I want Octopath to get this experience, so I'll switch him back in. Use double team as well. Alright. So one thing I will say, um... Obviously, I named um, Octopath after Octopath Traveler, uh, RPG for the Switch from uh, Square Enix. Uh, I've been playing it a lot for a long while, and um, really getting into it. Ah, uh, we missed. Yeah, during my whole week break last week, uh, I put a lot of hours into it, and it's getting really good. I highly recommend it. if you if you have a Nintendo Switch, definitely pick it up. Ooh, Electabuzz! This is his uh, ace Pokemon right here. But, kind of like uh, Raichu, all it has is Quick Attack for ground types that it can hurt us with. It, it also has, um... Instead of Thunderbolt, it has Thunder Punch. And I believe it packs Light Screen as well. So it's really not that big of a threat. I say that as it hit, gets two critical hits in a row on us, but we're still looking looking in good shape, especially when that happens. All right, all that's left should be yep, and his other electrode, which also has explosion. So, I'm gonna drag Symphonia back in. Gonna go for a double team. Missed with Earthquake. It's throwing Swift at us. Another crit, but even with the crit, that was only 13 damage. Alright, there we go. Ten Surge has been defeated. Ah, you are strong! Okay, kid, you get Thunder Badge. And our first of eight Kanto Gym Badges. Is now in our possession. All right, let's go ahead and heal on up at the Pokemon Center. Awesome. Now, we could take on another gym leader. There's a couple of them that are 
readily available to us right now. Um, Erica, we have Sabrina, I believe we have Janine as well. But I'm not going to take them on just yet. I actually want to head on up to Cerulean City. Actually, I might want to work on this side quest. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm? Quit mimicking. But that's my favorite hobby. Uh, I think you're the one that starts it. Likes to mimic people. I remember his turn. Cop camera around here. So soon, so soon. No. Huh, I thought we could, uh, get this, um... Side quest going. Maybe we have to talk? Oh, I think I know what we need to do, yeah. Hello, it's me, Alan. <laughs> oh! Alright, so next time we're over in Johto, I guess we'll have to visit, um... Alan over on Route 36. He's got a Firestone for us. Um, and I believe uh, Camper Todd, the one on 34 outside of uh, Goldenrod City, he actually challenged us to a fight off screen, so we've got that to work with as well. Alright, no tree needed to be cut for here. We go into the gym, there's nothing here. Misty's not around, so we need to take care of that side quest, which I believe we start by going to the power plant, which we need cut for. <coughs> oh, Kingler. Hey, come on. In the Pokemon Center, thank you. Alright, so I think we can uh, safely deposit Symphonia since we now have uh, Octopath with us. Because we don't really need to double up on types. And again, I've pretty much been doing that all all playthrough with uh, multiple water types. Hell, I've got four water types with me right now. Well, that's gonna make Erica difficult. not gonna fight us okay uh, but you are yep but yeah with Erica being a grass type gym leader and me having a bunch of water types really not looking forward to that gym fight mainly because I mean you look at the Pokemon that we've lost throughout this uh, journey so far um, got Wooper, which admittedly wouldn't help us too too well against it. Uh, we've got Zubat, quad resistant and able to uh, hit for super effective on two different fronts. Then there's uh, Noctowl, who again, flying type. And then there was, there was Venomoth, who again, could hit for super effective on two fronts. Three fronts, actually, if you count uh, Psychic hitting the poison types that uh, certain grass types have. So, yeah. Pretty much all of my major counters for Erica is dead. The only one I have right now is, admittedly, Zatu. With um, Houndour in, in, in the uh, PC that I may need to uh, 
level grind if I want to use him. In fact, I may just want to because I really don't have any fire types. Alright, what do you have? Skip Loom. Still not something I'd leave Alter Path out against. Oh, Sleep Powder. Damn. Wake up. Uh, that's... That is a bad. If we don't wake up, I'll switch out. Yeah. Alright, um... Vesperia, you should be able to take care of this. With Ice Punch. Cotton Spore, that's fine. Another skip loom. <laughs> this time with stun spore. Thankfully, it didn't work. All right, takes care of that. <laughs> All right, still we still have the Pokemon Center here. Let's uh, make good use of it. <laughs> Hop on our bike and nope. It's better be a repeat of something I have. Okay, good. By technicality, I've had Venomoth, so Species Clause is in effect. Alright, well, service calm. Alright. On to Route 10. Uh, what do we have here? I think it's just Tentacle. No, Goldeen. I already have Goldeen. guy we want to talk to is over here. I, I, I'm ready to blast someone. Who would dare ruin my generator? I spent so much time on it. If I catch him, he's going to get a taste of my zap cannon. Alright, now as we leave, I just got word from Cerulean. It appears that a shady character has been loitering around. Could I ask for your cooperation? I mean, I guess. Not like I have anything else better to do. Like, you know, take on the gyms and... Oh, wait, I guess this will kind of help me with that. Alright, so seeing as how I don't have um, Zatu with us, we can't fly back to Cerulean. What we can do, though, is quickly get back to Cerulean this way. I'll go up and around. Thank you. All right. Cut through here. Oh, 
Oops, I'm so sorry. You not hurt, okay? I'm very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if seen by somebody. Oh no, you've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey, you. Forget you see me, okay? You see, hear, know nothing, okay? Bye, kid. Nothing. Bye bye, a go go. No, I don't want to surf. I want. No, I guess that only. shows up once you, uh, fight him. Oh well. If we go this way. We should find him up here. <laughs> hey, kid. Me, I'm a Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country. A trainer number one. Me. Think I did if stop the energy. Be big panic for here, people. Secret it is my mission, so tell you why not. But if when you do versus me, a man I be and mine secret to you I tell. Hey, kid. Battle begin we do. I remember back when uh, this uh, foreign Team Rocket guy was announced. Everyone like fell in love with him. And then when he came back in uh, black and white as uh, some random NPC in, I believe it was Icerus City, people went nuts. And it's like, oh my god, it's the guy! And down goes the Golbat. Aye! No, no, no! Believe it, I can't! Strong very much be you. Match I am not to you. Okay, tell you mine secret will I. Machine pot steal by me. Hide it I did in Jim of the Cerulean. Inside water, put it I did. Look for in water center of Jim at. But you forget me not. Beat you for sure, will Team Rocket. Come from Johto, will they? Mine friends, yes. Will revenge they are. You say what? Team Rocket bye bye a go-go? Broken it, it's, it's, it says you? Oh no. Should I do what now on from me? Ah, uh, that broken English. No, where is this piece? Is it in the... There we go. Now to bring this back to the, um... power plant cut through here thankfully we took care of the uh, turn is that are pretty much a forced fight when you pass by them. So it just makes getting through here a little bit easier. These wild goldines, on the other hand, make it all the more annoying. That's the missing part from my beloved generator! You found it? <laughs> Thanks! Here, take this TM as a reward! So I guess we got a taste of his zap cannon. Great. It's my zap cannon. It's a powerful technique. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. Yeah, 50% accuracy, but, can, but instant paralysis when it hits. Alright, let's see what we have here.
Already have you. Don't think there's anything else we can get here, so, um... I think what we'll do is... I believe now that we have the power plant back up, the magnet train should be working, which should allow us to do that side quest I was trying to do back in Saffron City. Also opens up the uh, underground passageways now. So we no longer have to patch through Saffron City to get from Cerulean to Vermilion if we, if uh, we ever wanted to. Uh, nope. Hi! I heard that you lost your favorite polka doll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do. But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Yeah, so I believe it's in the um, underground passage. So let's head on down that way. Actually, maybe it's around here. No. to that. not pointing me in the right direction. If I just... spot here X special that's not what we were looking for is it mm, that's what it was finding Wow all right maybe it's actually here in the roots No, you know what? I think... I think I remember where it is now. Yep, this is it, right here. <laughs> I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one. So I'm making do with a polka doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this polka doll is sad. Okay, could you take this polka doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. <laughs> the lost item in the key pocket. Alright, let's um... 
Take this back to the copycat. And once we get the rail pass, we'll call it a day. Yay! That's my Clefairy Polka Doll! See the tear where the right leg is sewn on? That's proof! Okay, here's the Magnet Train Pass, like I promised. That's the pass for the Magnet Train. The rail company man gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. And now we have a very easy way back to Johto. And more importantly, Goldenrod City. Which is good, because I want to get there now. So, yeah. I'll be uh, heading back to Goron City, and... With that, uh, we'll call it a day. So, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content. And don't forget the code YouTube10 for 10% off all purchases of $20 or more at PokemonAwesome.com. Until then... Todd is challenging us once again. Weird. Well, I'll find him off screen. So, till then, see you guys next time.